Okay, in these next exercises we're going to start working on our lateral movements up and down the fence. At this stage I like to move and to advance through to using our carriage driving whip for a little closer in hand work. I like to initially establish my horse walking nice and relaxed up and down the fence a couple of times just so that he doesn't think that every time that he comes to the fence he's going to be asked to move his body parts either to the inside or to the outside. I'd like for him to just establish a nice relaxed feel on our first time down the fence. Okay, walk on. In this work that we're going to be doing here we're going to be moving a lot from our uh, directly behind to our three-quarter on position and it becomes important to have spent that time in our uh, long lining level one and level two to help establish those positions and to understand them uh, well and very clearly. So again I'm just looking for a nice relaxed walk, a little bit of a teardrop right here at the end so that I can stay using on the one side of my arena, back to the fence and again just allowing my horse to walk nice and relaxed up and down my fence to begin the exercise. Circle here a little to the, to the right with my teardrop once again. As I start to come down here I'm going to pick up, I'm going to ask for the nose to stay on the rail and for the hip to come to the inside. I'm just looking for him to stay as straight as I can through his body and for stepping through both in the front and behind. I don't want him to back off me here a little bit too much so I'm just driving back up here to the fence. Good and once again ask for that hind leg to step up and through. Pick up on my left rein and ask for him to walk in the teardrop pattern down this way and I'm going to repeat the exercise going the opposite direction. So once again nose here to the fence, you can see that I'm stepping here into my three quarter position at my horse's hip just using my, my carriage driving whip here as I need to to ask him to move off that in a lateral movement down the fence. Now you'll remember that we worked on this basic exercise in level two of our long reining. I would like to always go back over and to re-establish that at the walk before that we move on to any of our other exercises. As I come around here what I'm going to start to be thinking about in this part of my lateral work is asking for the leg yield back to the fence. So I'm staying in my uh, directly behind position and I'm asking for my horse to leg yield back here to the rail. And I don't think that it has to be a, a side pass where the horse has to move in just one strict motion straight across. He's allowed to take his time to leg yield back here to the fence. I repeat this exercise using coming out of the out of the teardrop here. So I almost think that I'm going to walk that teardrop, but I don't. I keep him going a little further, and I'm going to ask of him to do this exercise once again here at the walk with uh, leg yielding here back to the fence. Now right here you can see that he just kind of dove in with that shoulder and went to go straight to the fence. So I'll actually bring up my uh, carriage driving whip and I'll bump him here on the opposite side of the ribs and I'm going to ask of him again feeling him a little bit more on the on this uh, right rein bumping him here on the hip asking for his whole body all together to come across so I just even right there I just wanted to make that little correction that I don't allow him to just dive in with that shoulder. Okay what we're going to do here is that we're going to ask for our trot and we're going to try these exercises here at the trot so I'll move him up here to a trot Trot on, establish my circle, good, okay, now come off the teardrop down towards the fence, I'm just going to ask for that hip to stay to the inside, good, move that hip, left rein, keep the trot, good, back to the fence, little got the angle little, almost too much there, hip to the inside again, good, Good, teardrop. Now I'm going to be thinking about asking for him to leg yield here back to my fence. Okay, so the same things I'm asking for. A little straight, straighter there. Could have been a little straighter the whole way through that. I didn't allow myself a whole lot of room to allow that exercise to happen. As he comes around here, bump on this outside hip, 
feel him on that right rein. Now I dove back in a little quicker there again, so I'm going to feel him on this outside there, just move that hip off. I'll set myself up once again. Ask him now to come back across the arena. A little bit more hip here. That's better. Good. Once more back down this way. Feel him on this hip. Right rein. Then the left. There we go. Finish the exercise nice.